Hello everyone, my name is Nikki and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing something very, very different. I'm going to be showing you a little sample of all the different types of bullet journal themes that I suggested for you in my April showers bullet journal spread. Basically with every single bullet journal spread I do, I create a little poll with some ideas for the spread for next month and you guys vote for which one you'd like to see next the most. And I thought that it would be a good idea to do a sample page from each of the journals so you guys can have a little bit more of an insight into what they would look like, help aid your decisions a little bit more and you can get a taste of what could be coming up in the future. I'm doing three different themes so this one is the first one is a minimal or minimalist bullet journal, the second one will be plants and then the third will be circus. Basically in this video I'll be talking you through the whole process, what I'm using and how I'm creating it. This is the first double page spread which will contain a calendar, also goals, keynotes or to-do tasks and then key dates. I'm being very simplistic and using Using my ruler for this so no freehand lines. I began with a simple calligraphy at the top of the page writing out May and then for each section I'm basically drawing out a simple box under the top here because I'm drawing this in my sketchbook I don't have the bullets and the dots in my journal so I'm just marking it out in the approximate size and shape and writing out the calendar for the month of May. For the rest of the font I'm just using simple capital letters and basically drawing a drop shadow in the background with this grey Crayola super tip. I decided I decided to use the grey as an accent colour. Moving on to the following page, I'm writing out key dates in the same calligraphy style and then writing out every day from the 1st to the 31st and then drawing a line in that Crayola super tip in grey and just trying to fill out any uneven spaces there. The design is very minimal, incredibly simple and very quick and easy to do and that is my May minimal spread idea. Moving on, we next have plants which I'm very excited to do. So for the first step I'm just drawing out the page into my sketchbook. I must also not forget to mention but you guys can vote for your favourite theme of spread here in this video by clicking or tapping on the eye in the top right hand corner of the video that will lead you to a poll where you can vote. I begin by writing May in the same calligraphy style as a previous spread then I'm creating the space for the calendar and I'm trying to make it look like a little actual calendar or a sticky note and then I'm marking out the spaces for every single day of the month. For the plant theme I feel that it's going to be very doodly and I'm very excited and really love the way that this looked but anyway after that simplistic calendar I'm going on to create the doodles for this page and I was inspired mainly by the plants that I have in my room and some plants that I've seen around that I'd really like to get in different shops so I'm basically drawing a nice selection of different types of cacti and also succulents. I'm starting out by basically drawing them in this 0.2 millimeter to uni pin fine liner in black, drawing a very simplistic pot and then working on the design of the actual cactus or succulent there. I'm adding some spikes and trying to play around with different thicknesses and some shadows and then I'm drawing some more different types and just playing around with all the different designs because there's so many different types and variants of cacti and succulents you can really have a lot of fun with creating them. Moving on to the next page I hand lettered the word goals because I love to be able to set myself a lot of goals for each month and separate the month into around five different main goals. To fill in blank spaces I decided to doodle some string of pearl succulents. They're some of my favourite and I'm growing some at the minute so I thought that having them in little terrariums or hanging pots would be very cute just to fill in that empty space again. For the bullet points I'm also drawing little sprigs of leaves as you can see that I've penciled in on the left hand side of that page and they're acting as bullet points but also I have a lot of free space for extra planning and taking notes. For me I think that this is very simplistic and cute also a little bit minimalistic in my opinion but I'm really excited to do the spread in the future and I'm now adding some colour because it looks a little bit bland so basically I'm using these two Crayola super tips a green and grey then on a little mixing palette I'm drawing some squiggles and then with my Tombow blending brush I'm mixing the colours together to create this lovely muted green shade and I'm basically using that to draw in and fill in some of the cacti and succulents 
just add in that extra color, but the blending brush pen gives the effect of the pigment and the color being watercolor. So I love the way that this looks and it's really good because the color isn't too intense and you can really have a lot of control with it and play around with shading. I played around with color intensity to create the illusion of the shadowing and in areas that are darker, I made the color a lot more pigmented than areas that are hit by light a lot. And I also played around with a couple extra shades just to create the difference in color of the different types of cacti. Also for the string of pearls plants, I colored in a few of the little pearl pieces of the succulent just to add that extra color, but I didn't color them in fully. I basically then used the same technique for the little bullet points as you can see here to add that extra bit of color. Next, to finish off, I'm just adding a little bit of shading to the calendar at the top of the left hand page and adding some extra detail to the little design and drawing with my Unipen fine liner. Then, after that, we're done. It's very simplistic, quick, and easy, quite doodly and minimalistic at the same time. We're next going to be moving on to the circus theme. While I'm very excited for the idea of doing a circus themed spread, it's a spread that I'd have to think about a lot and that's why I'm not doing or continuing with the same page of each spread. So I did the intro calendar with the goals, tasks to do and stuff for the previous two spread ideas. But for this, this would be like my introduction page with the cool drawing to introduce and welcome in the month of May. For this theme, I'd need to think about it a lot and create a storyboard because for me, I am trying to incorporate stories into my bullet journal spreads now a lot. And I feel like this, I really need to think it through, create that storyboard plan. And then from there on, be able to actually plan out what I'd have in each section of the spread. But since this is only a sneak peek, this is more like a, here's what the, the design could actually look like in the end, unlike an actual ex from the spread itself. Basically for the design, I drew a circus tent with a little banner of, of bunting in the background. There's also a flag at the top of the tent. And then in the doorway, I wrote May in this sort of traditional circus carnival themed font. I began by mainly working on the font. I tried to make it look very blocky. And then at the top, you can see I added some extra detail with these diamonds and coloring in some of it in black. This was very time consuming, but I wanted to make sure that it looked good and I could put in as much detail as possible in here as well. I then decided to work on the design a lot more by making it look more 3D and making the font actually pop out and stand out a lot more. So I just colored in the back of it in black, as you can see here. I found that using my Unipin brush pen actually really helped when doing this font because I could color in a lot more, but also the fine tip really helped me get into those smaller spaces. And then actually working on the design of the tent and the bunting, I thickened up a lot of lines, especially those that would have been closer in perspective and those that were further in the background would have been thinner. I also tried to spend a lot of time working on making the tent look more realistic and like a tent, so adding in crease lines. And then I decided to work on the inside and the doorway because I felt that that would have been more of a center of focus point. So I drew a star in the middle and then some of these lines heading outwards just to add that extra perspective and make it sort of draw all of your attention into the center of the page there. I'm finishing up the basic design and line drawing with some extra creases in the tent and then I added extra detail to the top of the tent as you can see here, like the scalloping. Now I'm working on shading using a light grey Tombow dual tip brush pen and also my Tombow blending brush. I'm using that to lightly colour in each of these, one every other block in the doorway, the centerpiece of this bullet journal spread, just to create some extra depth and make it look a little bit more 3D. So I'm shading more heavily around both the letters and also the edges of the tent and the doorway. To add some color to this spread, I'm basically using a red Crayola super tip and my Tombow dual tip brush pen and using the brush pen side. And this is a blending brush. I'm using the Crayola super tip on a blending palette and then using the blending brush just to dilute the color a little bit. And then I'm mainly concentrating it in certain areas that are going to be darker than the rest and also creases within the tent and the edges because this 
circus tent is basically red and white striped. I'm wanting to add that extra color and I really concentrated the color on the flag at the top of the tent, but also I'm adding it into certain areas where it would be slightly darker. I don't want to make the color too overpowering, so adding it around the edges is just bringing that color forward, but keeping my journal to the monochrome color scheme that I use in all of my journals recently. Also, to create that 3D effect, I'm using some gray and using that just to darken certain areas of the tent. I use this white pen to lighten up some areas and just to draw some dots and add some extra detailing to the letters as well. So that's it for the journal. So this is the minimalistic journal for May with my very simplistic calendar and that gray drop shadow, a box for my goals and a to-do list, and also using that gray color as the tying in color for the whole spread and theme throughout the journal. Next we have the plants themed spread with many cacti and succulents of different types. Again, it's very simplistic and minimalistic with that simplistic style calendar that looks a lot like a post-it note. I really loved playing around with drawing all of the different types of cacti and also using my Corilla Super Tips and the Tombow blending brush pen to create that watercolor effect when I was drawing all of the different types of plants and also playing around with the calligraphy as well was very fun. And then finally for the circus theme, being able to play around with this theme and create an idea for the storyboard just to set things off a little bit was fun and such a brilliant journey. Even though I'd need to create that storyboard and really think through the whole plan for the bullet journal spread, I think that this is very interesting, intriguing, and I'm really going to like the color scheme. So that's it for the video and I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget you can vote for your favorite spread theme in the cards. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up to share your love and if you didn't you can give it a thumbs down i don't mind you can also subscribe to see more from me and press that bell to receive notifications when i post new videos i will see you guys next saturday